Hello, welcome to another tasting with John Whiskeyman Loftus, and this must be what John number what we've Four. done. This, this is, is the, the fourth. This yes. is the fourth we've done together, and yes. it's been a great time. Yes. We've had tasting yes. some of the finest whiskies and the most obscure whiskies in Scotland. So, yes. what are we tasting tonight, John? Well, tonight, Dick, we're going to, with Glen Toshers. When you talk about obscure whiskies, this is absolutely one of the most. Little is known about this distillery. There's no visitor centre, never see it advertised. It gets some pretty mean, uh, mean tasting notes, which I would never do actually. I would never dream of giving a distillery, a Scottish distillery, a, a really bad taste. But note. you've I'd read be, some. I'd be too kind. You've read some tasting notes. I've, read, I've read some tasting notes that just said, yeah. I don't know how they can say it. I mean, I read somewhere a tasting note about this dist dist distillery. That said it tastes like bad breath. Bad which breath. I think is an awful thing to say. Awful thing to I say. I would never dream of saying anything like that about any Scottish single malt whiskey. But uh, when, you, when you're going to talk about the distillery a little bit, then we'll actually get to taste it. Yes, you're going to open one of these we bottles will. for it's us. It's a long time. Of all the whiskies I've got in this room, this is one that I've tasted least of all. And it must be all of uh, 10, 12 years since I tasted this whiskey. The Glentoshan Distillery is situated in Keith, Banachia. Built in 1897, I believe. This whiskey was so obscure that it, they didn't have electricity in the distillery until 1958. The main component of this whiskey is goes into black and white. If you ever drunk black and white blended whiskey, you've drunk a lot of Glentoshans. 1990, Gordon MacPhail must have bought lots and lots of this Glen Touches because their expression is just about the only one available. You rarely see any other expressions of, Go of Glen Touches. It's mostly Gordon MacPhail. We've talked enough about Glen Touches, now we're going to taste it. I am going to try and find what's good about this as this has had some harsh reviews in the past. I'll find out what I like about it and let you know. Well, it's not a nice pale, pale gold colour. Wow, very, very smooth on the nose. Smell a bit of spice in there. We'll have a little taste. Wow, it warms the mouth. Get a bit of fruit. It's spicy. Really, this isn't half bad. I can't f smell bad breath nowhere in this whiskey. It's quite pleasant. It's, it's, it's mellow. It's smooth. Personally, I can't fault this whiskey. I can't believe that I haven't drunk it for so long. I would unreservedly recommend this whiskey. This Glentosh has had some bad reviews. I cannot for the life of me find anything wrong with this whiskey. I think the powers of beer Glentosh, they should get off the backside and start advertising this fine product. Absolutely lovely whiskey and for the life of me I can't find a fault with it. I've been drinking whiskey for 40 to 50 years, nearly 50 years. And if I read the reviews and believed them, I wouldn't have gone near this whiskey. But I, I like this obscure, un, unknown whiskey. Pleasantly surprised by Glen Tosh's. See you at the next tasting, Slumber. Thank <laughs> you.